the vibe? What's the vibe? What's the vibe? Listen, y'all. I don't know why I'm being led to tell y'all this, but uh, your purpose is oftentimes surrounded by pain. Your purpose is birth most times from your pain. So peep this. A lot of people searching for their purpose. I can feel it, right? They ain't too sure what they here to do. And I'm gonna tell you using myself a way that you can find out what your purpose is. All right, bam. So check this out. As a child, I was molested. Yes, sir. I was molested by the son first and then the daddy. So that let me know that that stuff be generational and running families because where the son got it from? Apparently the daddy, right? Okay, so we we'll gonna leave that to the imagination. And I was a victim of incest, right? So fast forward. Fast forward to my age now. Because I used to wonder, like, what in the heck? Like, what is this about? But it taught me something, right? It taught me, one, that molestation is a spirit that people put on you. It's like a succubus or an incubus demon, okay? So in order for that person to put it on you, it has to be on them. So somebody had to put it on them. So this is what they've been doing, right? So if you look across all over the world, I'm, I'd say one out of seven. Oh, one out of five women and men, one out of five, everyone, has been molested in some sense of the word, correct? All right, so just think about all the wounded pe people we got here, all the closed heart people. Because see, when you close your heart, you close your connection to God. I told y'all that before. That's how God speak through you to your heart, in your heart, okay? In your heart space. So, boom. So, as I began to awaken... Not only am I psychic, but I'm thinking to myself, what was all that about? See, the hardest journey is going to be given to the toughest warrior. So peep this. Now, today, spiritual warfare, guess who's attacking me? Mostly molesters. I can sense it on them, and I can smell it on them. Them DL men... All of those uh, sexual deviants, yeah, that's who behind me. But I figured out what my purpose was. is to get justice for every single solitary victim of molestation. The ones who ain't have enough courage to speak up. For the ones who closed their heart and became abusive just like they abusers. Because they were victims as well. You understand that? Everybody been a victim. But guess what? That spirit gotta go. So, my pain developed and prepared me for my purpose. <laughs> I love y'all for real. Peace. I know I said peace, but it's so much I could tell y'all. And it's so much I want to tell y'all. But I told y'all I got a pack of trolls, a pack of DM <laughs> pedos on my trail. So <laughs> trying to hush me up. So they little operation can keep flowing, okay? So bam. When I worked for Metro, the transit, right? I'ma say that for another story. But what I, what I will tell y'all is, it's almost like an underground railroad for this ring, right? Some of these houses and neighborhoods that's where they had an operation on the outside. It looked like a normal house in a normal neighborhood. But on the inside, they running girls through there. And I know where one of them is because Robert West Jr., the one that's hauling them cheering all across the world to Colorado and all that, him. Yeah, Ohio, him. Yeah, him. The one that subleased the neighbor's apartment so he could stay next door to me and harass me and keep breaking in my house and breaking in my keys and whatever, whatever. And he was on the phone talking about the people he worked for, them Chinese folks, and some other ones, it's some high dollar folks in, in Houston, okay? So this is why he after me <laughs> in the little coat, because they know I know what they have done. Some coaches, 
little league coaches. Don't y'all women don't let don't get cheer and go stay the night at no coach house. It ain't no reason for it, okay? None. 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 Cause if I tell y'all something I heard last night, it'll blow your mind. You understand? So something weird is going on. Okay? So anyway, like I was saying, before I knew he was a maniac, I went to this house with him, but I didn't get down. He asked me to ride with him somewhere to drop something off at his so say sister house. I ain't go inside, right? But I was talking about the rent being high. This is before I realized what actually was going on. I was realizing it at the time, but I was thinking to myself like, am I tripping? Okay, so bam. Now, until the ancestors came down and said, get that pen. It told me all they business. I was like, oh, I'm, I, that's automatic right now. I ain't never knew how to do that, y'all. I didn't even know what I was saying. But I confirmed it by asking him some of the stuff that I had wrote, <laughs> which confirmed. I was like, well, Lord, because it wasn't stuff that I knew consciously, okay? So anyway, um, I was talking about the rent. And ho he said, uh, Oh, I know uh, this house you can move in. I can make some calls. Cause he always shot to act like he's a shot caller, right? So he like, uh, I can make some calls. And, but the only thing, he wanted me to move in the house. I said, well, how much do people want for the rent? Because I'm thinking, first of all, if you're trying to court me, you're trying to put me on, this going to be something that's, that's, if I'm complaining about the price, you finna help me out on the price. Not necessarily paying it, but you finna hook me up with something that's more or less that uh, comfortable for my budget. So I'm asking him, well, how much the people, he ain't giving me no amount. The only thing is some people will come there time to time to handle some business. Or what I'm supposed to do when I handle the business? I said, well, what kind of people? You know, I asked questions, so I guess that's what was getting on his nerves. And I, I said, nah, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? Because it sounded a little fishy to me. So I got to thinking about that, and I said, you know what? That house right there and them people coming from out of town and how I just got to stay inside and act like I don't see what's going on in that house. It's some trafficking going through that house right here in Houston, Texas. And a lot of people know about it because it's a whole connection. I told y'all I think they be meeting up on that dark well. But they pushed me in my purpose. And now my purpose is to take each and every last one of them down. Because I didn't come for you. You shouldn't have never came for me. I was minding my business and all I wanted was my money. Back. <laughs> they gonna learn though. You better find, when, when a person tell you to find somebody else to play with. Y'all, they mean that. Even if they laughing, they like, you better find somebody else to play with. And if they laughing, you need to be a little scared. <laughs> if they smiling, saying you need to find you somebody else to play with, your best bet is to go find you somebody else to play with. <laughs> now, I love y'all for real. Peace.